feel me? So wow. it's like, it doesn't even phase me no more. I went to, I worked with Buff State for a minute, <clears throat> excuse me, around trying to build a, a resilience program at Buff State mm. uh, so that we can help students build their resilience to help with their retention rate because students at Buff State retention rate is not that great. And mm. so we worked on this like three months. I would send a proposal. They would have edits. They send it back. I would send a new proposal. That send it back. They we change the budget. We just back and forth, back and forth for three months. And at the end, they was like, "We ain't doing it." Mm. You know what I mean? And I was disappointed because at that time, that would have been like my biggest opportunity. Like that have been a huge contract opportunity. So I just put it down onto the next, you know, living life, whatever. The president of Villa Maria College reached out to me on Twitter one day because he had saw all the work I was doing, and he said. Mm. Need you to come to Villa and meet with me. We could talk about wow. what's going on here. So I said, okay, cool. You know, so I meet great guy. He gets it. Like he cares about his kids, care about the community, and he's talking about what he's his vision. I said, wait, I like your vision, sir. Hold up, pull out my laptop. I got the whole Buff State package ready to go. I just take out Buff State, put in Villa, send it to him. He said, this is exactly what we want. Sign the contract. Great wow. Look at that. Um, yeah. Embrace it like it's a journey, so it's gonna be setbacks, it's gonna be rejections. Like, life is beautiful if you look at it through the lens of like this is an adventure, and it's like every day is gonna be filled with laughs and cries and joy and sorrows. And it's a beautiful opportunity just to get up and, and have that experience each day. Wow, mm -hmm. I love, I love, love, love what you are saying, and I see the people in the right. chat getting it. Some of the some of the questions are, um, and this is by Music Therapy Podcast. What age do you start talking to the children? Is there a specific age group that you're targeting? Yeah, I target. I target usually. So my number one audience is college students. If I do a talk for college age students, it's going to change their life. Literally, they're going to be walking out crying like they just left church. Like it's going to be mm -hmm. amazing. That's my number one audience. But I do a lot of high schools and a lot of schools want me to talk to their middle school. So I've been doing lately. I've been doing way more middle schools than I have planned to do. I don't generally talk to elementary school students because, again, I don't I don't see myself as like a motivational speaker. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I love motivational speakers. I listen to them, you know, sometimes, too. But I'm not here to just motivate people. I'm trying to do perception change. Mm. Right. I'm trying to change how you look at your reality. And it's hard to do that with a six year old. You get what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I don't generally talk to elementary school students, but listen, some school districts are like, Duncan, we need you. So like Tonawanda schools, they booked me to speak to their middle school. Then they booked me for their high school. Then they bought 250 books and had me speak to their teachers. Then they bought a thousand mm -hmm. books and had me get, well, bought a book for every kid in their high school and middle school. Then mm -hmm. they said our fourth and fifth graders need it. So they booked me to speak to their fourth and fifth graders. So there are times with certain districts where I will extend lower um but that's not necessarily my number my, my 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 space i try to stay in my lane um for the most part but you know this is also my job so you know i don't talk to prisons i don't talk to corporations i've talked i've talked to churches i had a couple churches book me to come speak in other states so you know we'll make it happen you know one way or another mm -hmm. um you know my my lane is more so educators and then you know young adults and middle well, school. quiet as it's kept, you just spoke to me because I received a lot of that that you were saying. I've been doing comedy a little over 30 years and been wanting to throw the towel in like 30 times. But at the same time, it reminds me what my mother used to say, God's timing ain't your timing. And when mm -hmm. I tell you, brother, all kind of amazing things have been happening lately that let me know it is my time now. And then listening to you, they just confirm a few other things that's getting ready to happen. Right on. So God, God bless you. Glory. <coughs> God be the glory all the time. Music therapy said, I think middle school is a good age to start helping them believe in themselves. I agree with you. I see a lot of the middle school kids and high school kids who just they lack the motivation and a lot of times it's because of their environment you know we lack the motivation we're parents we're parenting mm -hmm. remember mm -hmm. parenting and, and you you your major focus is feeding them kids and it's like man i gotta go right. i gotta go i gotta go mm -hmm. and a lot of times you know our, our children are suffering from that i'm the first to first to to say it because i remember being that especially with six kids is by is by god's good glory 
you know, that it's working out the way it's working out. Music therapy said, get them ready for good grades and stuff in high school. I agree. Right. I agree. Duncan, I don't want to hold you too long, but what would you like to leave the listeners of the morning show with? Um, what you said today was um, phenomenal. Resiliency. One of the things that Eckhart Tolle talks about is ego. Um, before we, we, you know, let you with your last words, what do you think about that? And, and as far as he, as far as what he's talking about the ego and how we perceive ourselves. <clears throat> 